So, you and I have both worked here before, but I can't recall a moment where the President of the United States had so much on the line, not just for his presidency, but for the world. How did you all think about what you wanted to convey to the American people first about Ukraine? Well, we thought a lot, especially over the last couple of days, and he did, about how much of the speech should be about Russia and Ukraine, right. uh, and how much should be about other domestic issues. And it's right. such a tricky balance. And we decided that really kicking off the speech uh, felt like meeting the moment that we're all living in, right? Right, because it's just it's it's, forefront of everyone's mind. It's front and center. It all of a sudden yeah. feels like there's a war in Europe, and it's scary, and you have this Russian president threatening nuclear war, yes. and it feels very scary. So yeah. it felt important to him to kind of get everybody back up to speed. Here's where we've been putting together this global coalition and to talk about everything we're doing to try to help the people whose images and you're seeing who are suffering on your television screen. It is striking to me that Putin succeeded in uniting NATO allies after some hurt feelings in Afghanistan. Yeah, I thought this was one of the most important lines in the early part of the speech. President Putin thought he could divide us at home. He thought he could divide the West, and he was wrong. I have heard so many people comment to me about not having seen Republicans stand up to support something bipartisan in a very long time. It's a throwback in some ways to um, more unity on national security yeah. issues among Democrats and Republicans. I mean, the American people have been through so much. Is that part of it that it's not just that they're worried about Ukraine, obviously, it's COVID, it's inflation, it's like all of these things coming at them. And that did he want to reassure them across the board? Is that? Yeah, you know, I think part of it was, and, and part of what he has tried to do and we've tried to do over the last few days is provide some reassurance and some calm. And you seem to want to prepare us for worse. Exactly, because we have seen President Zelensky stand up and be courageous. We have seen the Ukrainian people fight like hell. But the Russian military is incredibly powerful. They have every intention of taking Kyiv. That is President Putin's ambition. The, the stakes of the war in Ukraine, they are not, it is not something I ever expected to see again, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you think the president did enough to prepare the American people for what might be coming? I think that this was, uh, the, the president's focus tonight was on making sure the American people understand um, why it was important uh, for us as a country to stand up for democracy against autocracy, why it mattered to stand up against a dictator. And he will continue to talk about it.